Hello, this is Chirag from Journeyfy Overseas and in this video, I'm going to give you all the basic information about IELTS examination. So if you have just started preparation for IELTS or you are about to start it, this is the right video for you. But if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos related to IELTS examination, Canada PR and overseas education. IELTS as the name says, it's an international English language testing system which assesses all your four skills of English that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. So if you are planning to go abroad for higher education or if you are planning to go abroad for employment or PR purpose in any of the native English speaking countries, then the first thing you need to do is you need to take IELTS examination in order to prove your English language skills. There are two kinds of IELTS examination, IELTS Academic and IELTS General. As the name says, IELTS Academic is for those students who want to go abroad for higher education and IELTS General is for those who want to go abroad for employment or PR purpose. Though the format of both the exam is almost the same, there is slight difference in the content and the kind of questions being asked in the examination. There is another video in which I have explained in depth about the difference between IELTS Academic and IS General, the link for which is given in the description. You can watch this video later and find out which one is right examination for you. If you are planning to go for IELTS examination, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to work on your English skills since it's an examination for English. So you need to work on all the four skills of English that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. And when I say you need to work on your English, it means you need to work on grammar, you need to work on sentence structure, you need to work on your vocabulary, you also need to work on content development, you also need to work on your communication and presentation skills, you also need to work on your reading and analyzing skills and on top of that, you also need to work on understanding native English accent, that means UK accent, US accent, Canadian accent or Australian accent. Now let me tell you how exactly is the IELTS examination being conducted. As I mentioned earlier, since it assesses all the four skills of English, there are going to be separate tests for all the four skills, out of which listening, reading and writing will be conducted on the same day. However, speaking examination could be on the same day or on some other day within the span of seven days. The very first test will be of listening. In listening, there will be four recordings which will be played the recordings could be in any of the native English accent like UK, US, Canadian or Australian accent or any other accent of English. You need to listen to those recordings and you will also be provided with one question sheet in which there will be 40 questions. You need to listen to those recordings and answer those questions. The questions will be in sequence of the recordings being played and you will get total 30 minutes to answer these 40 questions. Once you are done answering all the questions, you'll get another 10 minutes to copy all the answers from question sheet to the answer sheet. But remember one thing, all the recordings will be played only once. So in case you miss something, you will not get any opportunity to listen to those recordings again. The next examination will be of reading. In reading, there will be three passages. The passages could be from a book, from a newspaper, from a research paper, from a journal or from any other literature and there will be question sheet in which there will be 40 questions based on these passages. You need to read through those passages and answer these 40 questions. You will get total 60 minutes to read the passages and answer these 40 questions. So please read passages carefully, understand the questions and answer properly. The next section will be of writing. In writing, there will be two tasks. Task 1 will be letter and task 2 will be essay. In task 1, you'll be given a topic on which you need to write a letter of minimum 150 words. For this, you'll get 20 minutes of time. And task 2 will be essay, in which you'll get a topic on which you need to write an essay of 250 words. And for essay, you'll get 40 minutes. So total, for writing, you'll get 60 minutes. 
The last section is speaking, which I said earlier could be on the same day or on some other day within the span of seven days. A speaking is a kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction in which there will be three sections. Section 1 will be general introductory question in which examiner will ask you few introductory questions like your name, your family background, your qualification, your work experience, about your family, etc. etc. In section 2, you will be given a topic and you need to speak on the topic for 2 minutes. Once you are given the topic, you will get 1 minute to think and prepare on the topic. And after one minute, you need to start speaking for two minutes on that topic. And the section three will again be question answers in which the examiner will ask you a few questions based on the topic given to you and whatever you spoke about that topic. Total, it will take around 11 to 14 minutes to complete the speaking examination. So this is how the IELTS examination is being conducted. There is another video again in which I have in depth explained about the examination format for all the four skills. And the link for the same video is there in the description box. Now let me explain you how is the assessment being done for the IELTS examination. In IELTS examination, the markings are given in band system, which will be in the range of 0 to 9, whereas 0 is the lowest and 9 being the highest. You will get separate bands for each skills and the band will be in the difference of 0.5. That means you can get 6 bands, 6.5 bands, 7 bands or 7.5 bands and so on. Let me tell you how exactly these bands are calculated. Since in listening and reading there are 40 questions, you get one mark for each correct answer. And there is no negative marking for incorrect answer. So if you get 39 to 40 correct answers in listening or reading, you get 39 to 40 marks. So for every 39 to 40 marks, you get full 9 bands. For 37 or 38 correct answers, you get 8.5 bands and so on. Since in writing and speaking, there are no questions, the assessment system is little different there. In writing, the assessment is being done on a lot of different aspects like your task performance and task response, which means how accurately you wrote on the given topic within the given time. Did you use proper paragraphs? Was the content properly organized? Was there proper introduction, body and ending part of the content? How was the grammar? How was the vocabulary used? And lot of other aspects based on which the overall assessment is being done and the bands are given in writing exam. Same goes to speaking since there are no questions. The assessment in speaking is being done on a lot of different aspects like your confidence, your presentation, how accurately you spoke on the given topic, how was the grammar, how organized was the content, how was the vocabulary you used and a lot of different aspects. There is another video in which I have in depth explained about the assessment system of all the four skills for which the link is mentioned in the description. Guys, please do watch that video because if you understand the assessment system properly, it will be very easy for you to prepare for IELTS examination and secure good bands. So after watching this video, do watch that video. So that was all about the basic information about IELTS examination. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please do share your comment, feedback, suggestions and any questions you have in the comment section. And please, please, please do subscribe to our channel for more informative videos related to IELTS examination, Canada PR and overseas education. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you very much.